Hi, Richard Lazovic here, and I just wanted to talk to you today about the difference between IMAP and POP email accounts. The difference between POP email and IMAP email is, is very simple and basic. Most people set up their email for POP access. When the email arrives, it gets put on the server by your, at your hosting company. And when you look at it on a client, on your computer, or on your iPhone, you use a program such as Outlook or Mail or any one of the other popular email programs. With POP Access, you download a copy of the email to that device or your computer and you read it and you can process it, you can move it to a folder and do what you want. But the original is still on the server and it's untouched. So if you go to another computer such as your laptop or your iPhone, you'll read that email and you'll see the original email as it was. With IMAP, it's slightly different. You don't actually download it to your computer. You view what's on the server. So any changes that you make get reflected back on the server. And then if you go to your laptop or your iPhone, you will see those changes. If you want to have folders, you create them using webmail on your server. You can move it to a folder, and then if you go to any other computer or your other device, such as your iPhone, and you look at that email, you will see any changes that you've made. It'll be marked as red, it'll be moved to a certain folder, whatever you have done. So let me show you what that looks like on an iPhone. Hi, let me demonstrate now. Okay, here you can see I have several different email accounts set up and I have my sign configured as pop access and there's just the normal inbox there's drafts sent emails and the trash and it automatically keeps those and I cannot change any of those folders because this is set up as a pop account and once I read an email on here when I go to my computer I can't tell that I read it and I'll need to read it again and if I want to move it to a folder on my computer. On the iPhone you'll see that there are no folders, there's nowhere to move any emails to. However, if we look at another account such as, as my MPN account, you can see that I have a lot of different folders set up and after I read an email I can put it into any one of these folders. If I want to add a new folder, I go on the computer using webmail, I log into the account, create a new folder, and voila, it shows up here and it shows up on my computer. And if I read an email on here or if I read it on my computer, it gets marked in the other location and I can move it to a folder and access it from that same folder. Very simple and straightforward.